well, it's about uh, six o'clock in the morning and we are getting ready to leave Kass. Um, uh, we're getting such a start early. Uh, oof, my brain's tired. <laughs> we're getting such an early start because we're hoping for some great winds to sail to Laros. So let's check this out. Let's see how it goes. I'm Cass. And I'm Shelly. We're a couple from the Rocky Mountains of North America. We sold everything and moved on to our subbo over two years ago. Come join us as we adventure through the Mediterranean Sea. Some of the ships we encounter are pretty stunning. I gotta tell ya, she's a beauty. Oof. Yikes, matte black exterior. It's a good looking vessel right there, I'll tell you what. Dang. What an unbelievably beautiful morning. <laughs> Stellar. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, 6 a.m. Beautiful sunrise. So here we are about uh, eight o'clock in the morning. We've been two hours into our morning sail. Beautiful day. Somebody's plum tuckered out. Had her up at 5.30 for a six o'clock departure. So poor sweetie's all tuckered out. I'll get her up and yeah, I'll let her get up when she gets up right now. Got 10 knots going downwind. Got the head sail out. Just motor sailing along. Wind picks up a little bit. I think we'll probably pull out the main and uh, uh, then turn the engines off and we'll head off in there. Should be good to end. Peace. So we came up to Laros to um, do a couple of things. One, we really like the chandleries here. There's some items that we know they have that we need. So going to be great to be able to um, get a few of those bits and bobs. And uh, two, we actually have a Mel Temi that is projecting to come through starting Saturday. It's Friday, so it's projected to start on Saturday and we'll have fairly strong winds for the next few days to a week. Probably a week. Probably a week. <laughs> and pretty much constant winds of 20 with gusts up to 40. So um, we definitely want to make sure that we have a good holding and we know that Lockie Bay is a good place for that as well. So we will either uh, be looking to get onto the key or uh, in the marina. So we're about to pull into the bay and we'll see what options we have. As we approached Laros, we had reached out to the marina to see if they had a spot available. And unfortunately they did not. Plan B was to stop at the town key, but unfortunately it was also very full, which was not too surprising because we were expecting the storm. So instead, we chose to go and anchor in Lockie Bay. Laros is a great, uh, great island to take refuge from anywhere. So um, we've been in Lockie Bay for the last uh, couple nights and um, we saw blows up to 20, 26 and uh, it was blowing a lot harder outside of the bay, so we had good protection from the island and uh, it was a good stop for us. But we also didn't go ashore a lot, so um, we, we used this as a hop and we're about to do another hop uh, on our way up over to Amorgas. So we are expecting a little bit of a sporty sail today. So we're gonna pre-prep the sails before we go, probably uh, set in a first, um, put in a reef. So yeah, see how it goes. Oh 
full sailed out kind of day. So, well, not fully full. <laughs> but both, sa both sails are set to the first reef. Um, so we, with the wind we are expecting, uh, it's definitely prudent to start with a few reefs then. If it doesn't, if the wind doesn't show up, then we'll let them out. But we'll start here first and uh, make sure that we're not overpowered. Ticking right along. <laughs> it's a sporty sail. So uh, we believe we have just left the Dota Canisi fully behind us. So moving uh, squarely into the Cyclades and um, looking forward to this next uh, batching of islands to work work through with the storms and the Meltemi as we have them present. <laughs> so right now we have everything fully reefed. And um, we're taking along with 17 knots of wind right off our beam and uh, getting 6.3 knots of boat speed. So doing pretty well in some uh, pretty choppy sea states, but not too bad. We're enjoying the sail. that we haven't been on uh, called Levita. So uh, we're just checking out a couple different spots, whether we're going to anchor or if we're gonna pick up a mooring ball. So apparently there's about 13 mooring balls in here. And uh, so we'll see if there's one we can pick up to uh, find a good spot. We got all tucked in, got the mooring ball in place. And uh, now um, what we've done so far. Can you hand me that line? We're running our own line through the mooring buoy. Cause this line that we have is, this line here is really shoddy. So. <laughs> That's cozy, but we're all on mooring balls. Wow, what a stunning anchorage. And uh, it's just a bunch of mooring buoys here. So we definitely have some neighbors. But we're super stoked because we're actually headed to a restaurant of um, really the only restaurant on the island. So we're gonna hook around, 
I think uh, Cass is gonna row us to shore and then yeah, we'll yeah. do a short walk to the restaurant. So, come along. It's time for dinner. Oh, hello. It's time for dinner. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the goat in the bush. <laughs> There's a couple of them in there. It's okay. Huge thanks to our patrons for helping to make our adventure possible. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video, like and subscribe. And don't forget to join us next week.